Hi, my name is Irina, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect to your eServices account using newly redesigned IRS transcript delivery and reporting add-on for uh, Pitbull Tax software users and Pitbull Tax transcripts for our standalone product. First thing you need to do uh, when you connect uh, to eServices uh, on uh, starting January 11th, uh, um, you will need to clear cached memory in your browser. This is absolutely necessary for uh, all existing customers. If you've never used Pitbull Tax uh, before, then you do not need to clear cache. I'm using Google Chrome, so in order to clear cached memory in Google Chrome, I need to uh, go to Settings menu, uh, this uh, uh, gear icon in the top right corner, and under More Tools, uh, I select Clear um, Browsing Data and click Clear Data. I cleared cached or uh, cached memory already, so I'm not going to do it, but uh, you uh, will have to press clear data, then close your browser, and then re-log into Pitbull Tax. The next step you have to do uh, when you first uh, transition to newly redesigned version of IRS transcript delivery, you have to enter your CAF number. And your CAF number will be uh, entered under settings in the blue menu bar. You select IRS transcripts, and the first field you will see uh, under IRS authorization settings is CAF number. So CAF number should be entered in the format four digits, dash, five digits, and letter R. For existing customers, you might already see your CAF number pre-populated. So if you have your CAF number entered under representative settings, uh, you uh, may see it already, but double check if your CAF number is correct and uh, if you just entered the uh, CAF number, um, make sure you click Save. So, next thing uh, I want to explain about browser compatibility. With this newly red uh, redesigned version, uh, we have very good news that Mac users now are able to use our IRS transcript delivery and reporting add-on uh, without uh, going to PC. So that's a great news. Uh, the not so great news is that uh, you still need to use other than Safari browser. So Safari is still browser non grata within the IRS. Uh, and uh, if you ever tried to log into your eServices account uh, on Mac through Safari, you know that it's not possible. It's not us, it's the IRS. So uh, if you are a Mac user, uh, go to uh, and download a different browser like Google Chrome or uh, Firefox and you will be able to connect. So be, be careful, uh, Safari will not be able uh, to connect to eServices, but all other browsers uh, are fine. In order to connect to eServices, um, you can do that from any of the transcripts page uh, uh, in your accounts. So even on IRS transcripts settings page, you, you will see this button connect to eServices, uh, or you can go to transcripts dashboard, or um, you can go to request transcripts page, view transcripts. So everywhere, uh, um, you are on the transcripts page, you will see uh, this button connect to eServices. Since uh, um, this new version, you will have only two statuses, connection status not connected, flashing in red, and when you are connected, it will flash uh, in green and it will say connected. So let's connect to uh, eServices account. Click on the connect to eServices button, and immediately you will have new browser window open. And at this time you left Pitbull Tax software um, server. So you now are on IRS server. So we have no access to 
this uh, page whatsoever so it's only you uh, that I able to enter username and password uh, we do not store it anywhere and uh, with prior versions we've never stored uh, your uh, credentials to e-services account but uh, with this new version you will have to log in to your e-services account every time you need to request transcripts and to make your life easier and to avoid a lot of um, spelling errors i recommend everybody to use password managers it will save you time so you don't have to enter your username and password every time and uh, it will make um, you will make sure that uh, your passwords are entered correctly each time because remember uh, if you um, enter password um, wrong three times you will be locked out of your e-services account and you will not be able to request transcript uh, for 24 hours so make sure that um, you use either password manager or you enter your username and password correctly each time I use RoboForm, it's uh, one of the password managers, and um, I will enter my e-services username. On the next screen, I'm going to enter my password using password manager. Then I'm going to enter the six digits security code that I just received from the IRS. Click continue, um, review your login history and click continue as well. On the select organization page, make sure you select correct organization where you have transcript delivery system module added uh, to. So I have it on this organization and then I click submit button. After you click submit button, you may uh, wait a little bit uh, it depends on the um, IRS server's availability at that time. It may take a few seconds. So right now uh, it took um, almost uh, no time to uh, get to the next page. So when you do uh, migrate to this new version um, on Monday, January 11th, you will have to grant access to ISP and ISP stands for Intermedi um, Intermediate Service Provider and Pitbull Tax Software is one of the ISPs with the IRS so in order for Pitbull Tax to be able to pull transcripts from your e-services account and generate analytical reports uh, based on those transcripts you will need to grant access to uh, us as ISP. So you will see ISP authorization um, consent uh, and um, read it carefully for the first time. You will have to grant access only once um, and um, just make sure that uh, you are familiar with um, the consent right here. So I am going to click grant access and we are going to wait a few seconds after because the server is um, processing your request. You will see it in the browser window right here. And uh, after that, we should see success page. So let's give it a few seconds. And here we are. Uh, we are now back to Pitbull Tax. So we have successfully completed authentication process on IRS servers. And now we are back to Pitbull Tax. So connection with your IRSC services account is now established. You will see on this page. And you can proceed to pull receive transcripts through Pitbull Tax. Connection will be open for one hour. So this is a requirement from the IRS. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot um, uh, change this amount of uh, time, but with the current speed, it's, uh, trust me, it's a lot of time. One hour will be very sufficient to pull uh, a lot of transcripts. In fact, um, you can pull about 25,000 transcripts in just one hour. So once you get to this landing page, you can close it and go back to your application 
And by the time I was talking, uh, all my transcripts in queue were processed. So I had three requests for three different clients and uh, 107 transcripts. They were processed in uh, under one minute. So the speed is one of the greatest thing with this new version because it exponentially increased uh, from prior version. If uh, in the past uh, we um, saw the speed of four or five seconds for each transcripts download, right now for each transcript it takes fraction of a second. I would say under one third of a second for a one transcript download. So that's a very great improvement and you will have uh, uh, much less time processing all your requests. Um, but let me uh, pull in queue some uh, more transcripts so you can see like uh, the speed. And um, you can uh, connect to e-services when you already have something in queue, when you already request it, or you can do it uh, while you're already connected. And uh, I'll just click Update Selected for uh, three clients, and uh, you will see the queue in a few seconds. Uh, let me explain uh, the statistics in the top right corner in queue and processed. So the first number in queue shows uh, how many uh, requests you did, basically how many clients uh, uh, you're requesting for. And the second number shows uh, the how many transcripts are actually in that request. So um, it's still processing. So I already see a one. Um, request in queue two now and uh, once we uh, see the third one then um, it will uh, um, bring me to view transcripts um, page so i have three requests with 34 transcripts and you do not need to do anything at this time you see the queue already uh, down to two so uh, some of them already processed and um, basically in under no time you will see all your requests pulled and all your uh, transcripts downloaded and reports generated so i have only one transcript uh, remaining to uh, download and once everything is done, you will be able to see uh, green notifications in, in the lower right corner, like always. And right now my queue is zero, zero, so I don't have anything in uh, queue. And I have uh, all my requests and all my transcripts processed. And if you hover over the statistics you will see that is six requests with 155 transcripts that i processed during this session so this statistics um is um starts fresh every time uh you log in to pitbull tax so uh if you log in to uh pitbull tax and you have something in queue uh those numbers will remain the same but if uh, for example now i don't have anything in queue and i have uh, some transcripts processed next time i log in it will be zeroed out so every time uh, you log in the statistics starts fresh and this is how basically uh, you uh, perform the new connection uh, the next time you log in let's say uh, one uh, hour expired and we have a timer uh, underneath uh, the connection status so i ha still have 54 minutes left to process any other requests that i need uh, uh, to process so uh, once that time expires you will have to click connect uh, to e-services again and uh, perform login process login authentication process again uh, you do not need to grant access uh, you do uh, you do it only for the first time you uh, authenticate 
but the rest of the steps, login, uh, you enter your username, password, uh, the six digits code, and you select organization. So all these steps will be uh, required every time you uh, connect to e-services. And one other thing I wanted to mention uh, for this new version, we have significantly improved and optimized uh, the transcript dashboard um, uh, update all functionality and update selected. So um, if you click update all, basically you can update transcripts for every single client that is in your Pitbull Tax account, even if uh, they didn't have any tax liability before. So it will take all your clients and if you have a uh, power, of, power of attorney or 8821 on file with a cap unit, yeah, all of those um, um, transcripts will be updated. So this concludes this video tutorial. Uh, I hope you will enjoy this new version.